Hello everyone, Alfonso here and welcome to Sauce Labs where we help you test at the speed of awesome. Today, I'm going to show you how to download, set up, and run a Sauce test through Sauce Connect. Sauce Connect is our secure tunneling service and enables you and your teams to securely test applications behind your firewall. As a side note, these steps will work for most simple network configurations, but if your network requires a proxy or other authentication to connect to the internet, please check with your IT department first. Thanks. Now let's get started. Let's go ahead and launch your favorite browser and log into your Sauce Labs account. Once logged in, we'll navigate to your dashboard from where you can see all your automated and manual tests, where they are running in real time. You can also access your user data, as well as view available Sauce Connect tunnels and shut them down. At the bottom left side of your toolbar, you'll find the documentation link, which leads to the Sauce Labs wiki. This is where you'll find documentation about all things Sauce. This is where we'll get started. Now to the left of the documentation home, you'll find the most popular documents listed. Let's navigate to the Sauce Connect heading where you will find the download links for the Sauce Connect client. Here, we'll pick the appropriate client archive for our operating system and download using the download link. Once the download completes, you can click on the downloaded item and it will automatically extract the archive and open it in our file browser. Once the file is extracted, we'll go ahead and open a console application and change into the Sauce Connect folder that we have previously extracted. In this case, the folder would be located under your downloads folder. By getting file lists each step of the way, we ensure Sauce Connect folder is in its appropriate location. At this point, we're ready to run the Sauce Connect client. Let's refer to the documentation for instructions. Going back to the documentation page on the left-hand side, you will find the Sauce Connect heading. You can click on the triangle to the left of the heading to expand and navigate to the Sauce Connect command line reference. Here, we'll find the command line options we will need to run the Sauce Connect client. In this exercise, we will only need to use dash u, dash k for your username and access token. The username you'll use is the same as the web username for Sauce Labs. The access key, however, is not the same as your web password. It can be found through your dashboard. This is going to be under your account settings labeled My Account. You can find this by clicking on your name at the lower left corner of the dashboard and clicking on the label. At the bottom of the account settings page, you'll find the access key field and you can click on it to show your access key. Once your password is confirmed, you can use the button to the left of the field to copy the key to your clipboard. Now that we have our username and access key, we can go back to our console and start the Sauce Connect client. The command line will start with the executable path and name, which is bin slash sc, and will continue with dash u and dash k, each of which followed with your username and access key, respectively. Once you have the command type, you can hit enter to start the execution. You'll see a number of messages displayed on the console. Now once execution starts, you can switch over to your dashboard and observe the tunnel being brought up under the Tunnels section. Both the left toolbar and the corresponding section will have your Sauce Connect Tunnel information available. While the Sauce Connect Tunnel is being set up, we can go back and inspect the console messages and see if the tunnel is ready to test through. Once we see the Sauce Connect is up, you may start your tests. Now let's navigate back to our dashboard and click the new manual test button placed onto the left side toolbar. This will then lead to a platform configuration page where you can choose from several hundred browser configurations on various mobile device emulators or desktop operating systems. In this case, we'll be running a test on Internet Explorer 11, on Windows 8.1, at 1280 by 1024 screen resolution. We'll go ahead and set our initial target to Amazon.com. 
The final step in the configuration will be selecting the Sauce Connect tunnel to be used by using the pull down menu at the bottom of your screen. All tests are being recorded and screenshots saved unless you specify otherwise. Clicking the Start Session button will initiate the manual test session. Once ready, the remote test session will be controlled through your local browser. Provisioning takes some time due to the fact that at, every, at Sauce Labs, every session starts on a fresh and new VM and destroy it after to protect your data and privacy. Now once the session is ready, we're going to go ahead and enter the terms to test the browser functionality and look at some products. In this test, let's go ahead and search for hot sauce. Once we are done testing, we can click on the stop button located at the top right corner. After confirming the end of the test, we'll be taken to our manual test archive. Upon test completion, Post-processing of test assets will take a few brief moments and then the test data will be ready to review. Clicking on the session name gets us to the detail page where we can then review the test video and look at all other details. Tests that have been run through Sauce Connect tunnels will show a green lightning bolt with the tunnel identifier to its right. Congratulations! At this point, we have completed a successful test. We can now navigate back to the tunnels page following the left toolbar link. Here, we can shut down the tunnel using the stop button to the right of its entry. After confirming the tunnel, we'll start the shutdown process and also, we'll let the client running on your console know that it's time to shut down. Going back to the console, we can also observe that the Sauce Connect client was shut down by a Sauce Connect tunnel being stopped on your Sauce Labs dashboard. You can also shut down your client using the console key combination Control C, and it'll have the same effect.